it's just crazy to look back at where I used to be. I almost don't want to look back at where I used to be. Hello my friends. It has now been eight months since I started the carnivore diet, going on nine months now. So I thought that I would give you an update as to how I'm doing and things that I've been changing and just yeah, my overall progress. So if you're new here, my name is Rachel and I'm sharing my journey to healing from years of severe chronic illness. Some of the chronic illnesses that I have been diagnosed with over the years are POTS or descent autonomia, Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, which is a connective tissue disorder, Chiari malformation, intracranial hypertension, tethered cord syndrome, gastroparesis, celiac, autoimmune conditions, the list really went on. Um, at my worst, I was essentially bed bound and really just barely hanging on. And now I'm really starting to heal. I'm doing so much better and I'm so, so thankful. The carnivore diet has definitely been life-changing for me. It's been quite a journey and it was a difficult adjustment for me. I don't know that I would trust anyone that says doing the carnivore diet is easy because especially in the beginning it's hard, but for a lot of people it's worth it. And I do want to be clear in that changing my diet and way of eating is not the only thing that I've been doing to heal. This last eight months to year or so, it has been a big, huge component of my healing, changing the way that I eat, but other things have been really big factors in my healing as well. And so I always just want to keep it real with you guys and I'm not, you know, like super like hardcore, you need to be super strict carnivore and that's the only way to healing. I think there are a lot of different routes to healing and I think that nutrition and animal fats are really essential to optimizing health, but I think there are many other important aspects of healing. And for me, lately, I have started, there's like a bee or a fly or something buzzing around me. Anyway, recently I started a brain retraining program called the Dynamic Neural Retraining System. And so DNRS is the acronym for that. Basically it's a program that uses concepts of neuroplasticity to help the body to heal from all sorts of different chronic illnesses. One of the big things I've seen a lot of people have miraculous recoveries from with DNRS is really severe mast cell issues and histamine intolerance, which I actually see fairly common in the carnivore community of people trying to do the carnivore diet to heal from chronic illness and for me it has helped already my histamine intolerance significantly there are a lot of different exercises that can be done with neuroplasticity but basically it goes on the concept that our brains have the ability to change and help bring our bodies into this parasympathetic state so that we can heal. So if we're stuck in a fight or flight state, like if you don't feel safe in your body, if you feel like you're reacting to everything, then your body basically is acting like it's being constantly chased by a tiger. We need to figure out how to calm our nervous system down and calm our body down to tell it that it's safe so our body can heal. I truthfully do think that it's a big missing piece for a lot of people that do the carnivore diet or meat-based or keto, whatever it may be. The nervous system actually controls our immune systems. It controls our heart rate, our blood pressure, our blood flow, just pretty much every system in our body that's important. Our digestive system, it controls that. And so if your body is really stuck in a survival state, then you can be eating super healthy, but still be stuck in that survival state and still be really struggling. So I think that was a really big missing piece for me. Of course, I've seen a lot of healing with the carnivore diet, but I, I actually have made a, a lot of progress in the last three or four weeks or so that I have been doing this program. And basically I'm doing like, an hour of visualizations every day where I'm visualizing myself being healthy and doing that with past memories and future memories and our brains don't know the difference between 
reality and visualization. Through those visualizations, you're creating new pathways in the brain to calm your nervous system down and allow it to heal so that a lot of the systems in your body can start to work a lot better again. And so for me, it's been a really good complement to the carnivore way of eating and just a big missing piece that I think I really needed. And something that somebody told me in a comment like a couple weeks ago when I mentioned this was like, you don't seem like you're stressed, you look totally calm, and I can tell that you're not in a fight or flight state. And while that person was well-meaning, I very much disagree with them. You can't tell by looking at someone whether they are in that state. It's actually subconscious. When you're chronically ill, your brain is stuck in that state and you don't even know it half of the time. And so like, yes, I am a calm person. I don't have anxiety and, you know, I'm generally positive and all those things, but my body was still stuck in that state. And so anyway, this program has been really, really helpful for me. And I made a lot of progress. A month or so ago, I walked to the end of my driveway and back and I would say that's probably maybe a couple blocks. It's a pretty long driveway. And that was a really big accomplishment for me. That's my worst. I was, you know, it was, I could, could barely, you know, get around the house just to get up to go into the bathroom. Like, and I always had to have someone with me because it wasn't like safe for me to be walking around on my own typically even in the house. As I have made progress over the last year or two, I got to the point probably a year ago or so where walking around the house was totally fine, nobody was worried about me, and then I kind of have slowly increased my walking, my standing abilities. When I first started being able to cook my meals, probably like a month or so into the carnivore diet, I had to use a stool to sit down because I couldn't stand up, like I would just you know, start to like faint if I stood for too long because my blood was pooling and my heart rate was skyrocketing. Um, but now I can stand while I cook all my meals. Um, I'm going on walks. I'm walking a mile almost every day and it's just the most amazing feeling in the world. Um, <laughs> there have been a lot of tears over the last month just of gratitude for the progress that I've made. And yeah, I just, I really can't describe what it feels like after, you know, just barely surviving for so long and being so incredibly sick and debilitated all the time to healing. And yeah, I'm really letting myself like dream again and I'm making goals for the future and thinking about, <laughs> places that I want to go travel to and it's almost like I can feel like the life coming back into me and I mean it's the best feeling like I yeah words cannot describe how thankful I am and just what an amazing gift it is to be healing and to be able to start to enjoy life again and yeah <laughs> our forest that we live in has been coming to life over the last month or so and I feel like I'm kind of coming to life with it. I've made a lot of progress. I've really turned a corner lately. Um, I've been doing a lot better with my histamine intolerance. What else? Spending time outside in nature is just had, has been really healing for me. Um, as you guys can tell, a lot of my videos that I make, I'm just like sitting outside on the back deck and you might be able to hear the, the forest breeze <laughs> behind me. Another thing that I've done that I've talked a lot about on my other channel, um, it's just called Rachel Elizabeth, is getting prolotherapy injections in my neck. So basically I've had really severe neck and craniocervical instability and I had a surgery two years ago fusing my skull to C2 in my neck but had a lot of severe issues below it and I went to a place in Florida called Caring Medical and had a series of prolotherapy injections and so prolotherapy is regenerative medicine so basically the idea with it is they do an injection 
that creates inflammation and small injuries in the soft tissue around the damaged ligaments and joints and whatnot and that gets inflamed and that really accelerates healing in that area and I've had really good results from doing that. Even like five months into my carnivore journey I was still having to wear my neck brace a lot and that was a really big limiting factor for me and um, so we went to Florida earlier this year and stayed there for six weeks and had a series of prolotherapy injections in my neck that was pretty intensive and I'm doing a lot better after that. I could tell a difference after every treatment that I had there. They're also having me do um, curve corrections of my neck with weights and so I'm still doing that while we're at home and that's made a really big difference for me and my neck so now I am really only wearing my neck brace when I'm in the car and when I'm sleeping and I really look forward to the day that I don't ever have to wear it again and I really think that day will come which for a while it just didn't feel like it was even within reach at all and so yeah that's just really great to not have to be relying on the neck brace I'm upright for a lot longer and um, yeah my pain down has gone down a lot also I wanted to mention that with the brain retraining program that I'm doing I'm really not discussing current symptoms and or really like entertaining thoughts about symptoms and so that'll make it kind of tricky for me to share but I can share positive improvements and symptoms and so you guys can kind of like read between the lines with certain things. I won't really be able to answer specific questions about current symptoms and I apologize for that. What else? I'm really not spending that much time during the day in bed. Typically if I, if I go out and do something, I'll still, you know, lay down and kind of like recharge, but my recharge time is way less than it used to be and my recovery time from overdoing it is way less than it used to be um yeah it just seems to keep improving and getting better and it's just the best thing and i'm so, I'm so thankful sorry if i've said that too many times but i really feel myself healing and it's just incredible and yeah, I have God to thank for that and he's been with me from the worst days of my journey all the way to now when I'm healing and I feel thankful that I have the opportunity to share my journey and encourage others that go through similar things. And so if you guys are in the thick of it right now, I'm rooting for you always and praying for you and always hoping the best for you. I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything. I made a video about a month ago about how I am no longer doing the lion diet. I actually feel like coming off of the lion diet brought me more improvements and so I think it's just good to be open-minded and to be experimenting with things because I think some people just think oh like the lion diet is better. That's what I thought in the beginning that's why I did it because I was like well like I want the best possible healing and so I'm gonna do the fanciest carnivore diet out there and um, really, I don't, I, I don't think that for most people it is necessary or even better. I really think that the biggest reason why people don't do well with chicken and pork from the grocery store or even from local farms is because they typically are not fed the correct diet. And so, so I've been able to find corn and soy free chicken and pork and have done great with them. I actually feel like in some ways I feel better eating them than things like beef. I actually tried some pork that was not corn and soy free, but it was pastured pork, and I did not do well with it. So it's not explicitly labeled corn and soy free. I found that it typically is not, even if it's from a local farm. I have no local sources of meat that is corn and soy free for chicken or eggs. And I've been able to find a couple of really good online sources for corn and soy free chicken and pork in the USA. White Oak Pastures is one of them. They have amazing corn and soy free chicken and I found it to be the most affordable. It tastes great and I feel great with it. I'll put a link down below to White Oak. I actually have a coupon code for White Oak as well. So I'll put that up on the screen here. 
And then North Star Bison is a great source for corn and soy free pork and chicken. Right now they're sold out of pork, which I'm really sad about, but um, yeah, I'm gonna do a blog post soon showing all the online sources that I have found for corn and soy free chicken. I recently made a blog post sharing all the best low histamine meat sources that I have found in the USA and so I'll put a link in the description to that as well. I would say about 95% of what I eat right now is still completely unaged low histamine meat. I just feel the best with that. I occasionally will have some store-bought meats and now I'm doing fine with little bits of it. It's totally fine, but I just no noticed that I feel the best with the unaged meat, so I just am doing that, and I feel good about the farms that I've been buying it, it from, so um, that's just what I'm sticking with. I would say about half of what I cook is still from Frozen, and half I've been actually thawing stuff. For me, the age of the meat versus like whether it's thawed or how long it's cooked makes more of a difference but that being said I'm not too concerned about histamine reactions they've been improving for me and I think one of the biggest reasons they've been improving is because of DNRS I have a long ways to come to be fully healed but I've come so far and it's just crazy to look back at where I used to be <laughs> I almost don't want to look back at where I used to be but um, it's quite a transformation and I'm super thankful the carnivore way of eating, like I have said many times, has really changed my life. Like I said, I've been doing other things that have been really helping as well, none of which have been from the Western medicine route. I'm not going that route at all right now. I'm not saying that it's wrong or that it doesn't have its place, but from what I've noticed and observed in the chronic illness community, um, most people don't seem to find a whole lot of healing going the Western medicine route, unfortunately. I wish it wasn't that way. But um, lately I've really taken a break from researching nutrition and methods of healing just because I'm focusing on my own healing. As much as I love learning about nutrition and all those things, I think it's really good for me to kind of take a step back from that sort of research and just focus on my own healing. And so yeah, that's the general update for now. Things are going well. I'm super thankful and I will continue to update you guys on my progress and I have a lot of fun videos planned soon and hoping I'll have a lot more capacity to make more videos and content for you guys and just yeah looking forward to it so be sure to subscribe and I will look forward to seeing you guys again very soon.